just waiting. Okay. to Sunny Isles, the best location in the nation, a place where most you plebs can never imagine to live. But anyways, I got some good entertainment for you. I'm the Jewish handler. I'm going to embrace my role as the fucking handler over here. So what we have over here is Zerka, a guy who's going to grill Freemasons. And what we also have is a GG33 member who happens to be Freemason as well. I am not a Freemason. I rejected those punks. No offense, back in the day, no, because I'm a 33 by birthright. I don't need to pretend. Having said that, let's get uh, to know who today's participants is. We know who you are. Let's start with you. Dale, who the fuck are you and what the hell are you doing here? Well, I'm just Dale. <laughs> Dale, just Dale. Just Dale? Yeah. He's trying to look less sinister. We know he's evil, though. <laughs> I'm just Dale. Yeah. Are you yeah. a mover and shaker? Are you at the top of your community? Uh, I'm up there, I, I would say. You're we, at we, we do 32nd degree? Yeah, 32nd degree, which... Scottish know, or York right? What lodge? Well, that, that'd be Scottish. Okay. I'm also part of the York right, too. It's, like, different. It, I could explain that in a little bit, but there's different paths, kind of. Okay. When did you get started? Um, I joined back in 2013. Why? Well, everyone always was talking about the Masons and who they were and what they did, and I figured the best way to figure that out is just go do it yourself. Did you think they were evil? I had no clue. But if they ran the world, come on. I'm going to be part of that. I'm not going to be You think they run the world? Some people uh, say they don't. Some it's, people... uh, they're, they're, part, they're part of a group that may run the world, but they're, they're a small part, just like you know, uh, Hollywood, okay. the government. Yeah. Whenever you have billions of dollars being thrown around, you got you have corruption in it for sure. Define Freemasonry. There's so many different definitions. Everyone says a different one. Define Freemasonry. Oh, you essentially just Freemasonry is not free monetarily. What do you mean? It's it's free as in when the builders back in King Solomon Temple, if you had the pass, if you knew everything, then you were free to travel. You were free to go get work because once you built up a city. You're talking about the stone masons? Move. Oh, yeah. When yeah, they back in the their day. skill set, then they're free. Yeah. Well, yeah, free to travel because you typically didn't. That's why they're called traveling men. Most people did not travel and they didn't need to because... They had a city, they had a job, they could do all that stuff. Let's let's go to modern day stuff. Let's not start modern. with Knights Templars who turn into Freemasons. Well, yes, uh, Freemason. uh, 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 let's go to the modern stuff. <laughs> Why are you stuff. interrupting me? <laughs> I, I want to know the modern stuff, man. I don't want to have to hold this damn story about 13, 1400s. No, you weren't going to spend time on King Solomon. You were just no, saying no. that's where it starts. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where okay. the free part of Masonry came yeah. from. So they're stone masons, and then I guess they're the best architects and all that, the geniuses, the 33s, right? Yeah. Of their villages and shit and would you say it goes back to i think it, you know egypt it goes back to egypt oh yeah it, yeah it goes way back what does that apron mean that you for your in, initiation you guys wear that egyptian apron the, the apron that was just something that the builders at, at the time they but wore. why why do you wear the apron i'm guessing that's where they had their tools and then there's a distinction with the mace with with the apron on how you wear it where if you were What's to, the significance it, of the apron? It's just signifying that. I, every mason answers this like in a bland way, but there's a huge significance. Yeah, well, it represents the, the purity. Of, there it is. Of okay, us. yeah, so okay. tell them about that. What is it covering? It's covering the life force energy, yeah. the penis. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? Well, why didn't you say the penis part? I, I didn't want to give it all away right here. Oh, you're not allowed? <laughs> 
I don't, mm, I don't know. The significance is you're hiding the generative principle, the G in masonry, the sexual essence. Why are you guys hiding it? Well, I don't, I don't think they're hiding it. That the G in masonry is more of a modern day thing that hasn't always existed. It, it kind of came into play. Capital uh, G is thirty three. Yeah, but it came so into play so more seventh the last, of God, yeah. mm -hmm. last century or two. Okay, uh, but but, but the Egyptians did wear the apron still, even yeah, without the sure. G. Yeah, because they understood everything is built by that sexual, the will of yeah. the universe, the sexual essence, right? Yeah. So would you say it's a sex cult? What? Because you just that's admit a, it is. A, that's a very good segue. Uh, it is a sex cult. No. If every if all your secret powers are behind that apron, yeah. what's behind the apron is the penis. Well, the apron really isn't a secret power. It's just more of a representative of when you get initiated into it. Well, what's the significance of the apron rising? It's the penis getting erect. What? Well, when the flap goes and, up, the penis and, is getting erect. And if you and if you think about it, the people that wore their aprons with the the flap up, they were the lowest of the low. So if you want to get into energetically speaking, yeah, because you got the, the, the top were holding they're, it in. They're, they're, you guys were no factors. They're you working know. in their root chakra. Yeah, because you guys are taught to hold in your sexual energy, and you guys are in certain Masonic monitors. They talk about. You can regenerate blood cells by not spilling your seed. Have well, you read that? You regenerate your blood cells like every seven years. You have no, no. They're cell. saying that there's a superpower to not ejaculate. Do you it's, buy into that? Some Masons don't yeah, buy into it. It's uh, called semen yeah. retention. Semen retention, yeah. It's a popular thing, not one that I typically take part of. <laughs> not the Leo, huh? <laughs> well, well, and they also talk about in certain zodiac alignments is when. Like, you're supposed to have sex with your wife, but you're not supposed to ejaculate. That's why the woman can have multiple orgasms. You're supposed to ejaculate on certain zodiac alignments to have the right kid you want, the healthiest child. Do you guys, did you look into that? I, yeah, I think that would be accurate. Because I think 90% of what I've studied, every Freemason has told me, yeah, you studied that out of, you volunteered to study that because we're not supposed to be taught that stuff. You're just taught what you need to build a lodge, right? Essentially, yeah. Is it yeah. your lodge? Is it Blue Lodge? Well, I, I do I do run a Blue Lodge. I've been master there for a few years. And yeah. yeah and you're called Most Worshipful Master. Worshipful. Most Worshipful is uh, designated for somebody who ran the whole state. Okay. So like a Grand Lodge. Right. Are you master. a Christian? I I'm, yeah, I'm Catholic. Have Christian. you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Oh, Jesus is king. Jesus is king, and you're going around with a title that in the Bible it says no one will be called Lord, no one is to worship. Well, it's not, you're it's you're not, being called it, wor most Lord. worshipful master, but you believe in Jesus. You're letting humans who piss, eat, and shit call you most worshipful master. Well, not, That's the highest level of blasphemy. Not most and, worshipful. What? Not most worshipful. Just or worshipful. just worshipful. That's yeah. You, now now you're not damned to hell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think about it. That's the highest level of blasphemy because you have an initiation, you have a ritual, and you're being you're not doing it as a joke. Yeah. Blasphemy as a joke is different from having an initiation, ritual, and rites ceremony, and you're doing it on an altar with the Bible. Correct? You Scottish rite guys have a. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the difference from the Scottish rite and York is the York are the Christians, and you guys are more philosophical and stuff but it's still blasphemy yeah. what you're doing yeah so that is still blasphemy the, let me answer let me answer yeah the york right is definitely where knights templar are and the christians for sure where scottish right is not not as much as that and knights templar were known for worshiping baphomet and all this homosexual sodomy that's when, why that's why they had two people on a horse it was a symbol that they were homosexuals the knights templars Right, but but you agree that the, the Knights Templars got perverted? It's because they're infiltrated by these Masons. Mm, like the at the, the Masons uh, didn't exist. Well, no, no, it, it, it doesn't did. matter. It's the same teachings. So your Masonry overlaps with the uh, Rose Cross for yeah. the Rosicrucians, the Kabbalists, the Ophites, the Serpent Worships. You guys are all taught that snake, serpent, penis worship. The the I mean the whole thing has been infiltrated at some point like for and example they say uh the, the jews understood everything and stuff there was many different it's not just ancient hebrew there's many different ancient languages that all knew the same stuff the jews just came out on top
But they're all taught the same stuff. So it's not like they invented, you know, like secret names of yeah. God and stuff. Absolutely. There was plenty of clans who knew. Whoever was the best chess player won. But you agree that the, when they started worshipping Baphomet is because of your clan infiltrating so, the Knights Templar. It's not like these Christians just started being homosexuals. I wasn't, I wasn't around back then. But, oh. but I would say that there's a good chance that that could happen. I mean, mo most of masonry is, is pulled from the Old Testament anyway. It, it's... Okay. The, the the Bible itself is really where a lot of the rituals are and what it is. It's kind of yeah, but you guys invert through them. those. You invert the Bible's rituals. Mm, no. Well, why? If you accept that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and I know you're not allowed to talk about your initiation. Yeah. But I'll I'll talk about it. Your initiation. Uh, you put a rope around your head and you uh go through a whole antichrist initiation. None of your initiations or anything end in amen or in Jesus' name. None of them. Correct. So, well, so and yeah. there's 500 pages of you guys saying it, Freemasonry is a religion. There's over 500 pages. Here. Albert Pike has 80 pages saying it is a religious practice. Here. So if if it's not ending in amen or Jesus' name, who the fuck are you praying to? That's a very good question, Zerka. So here's a misconception with masonry a lot of people think that it's a, a religion it's not however you do need to believe hold in, on it's not it's not so there's an in, initiation it's, it's and a ritual you, you do need to believe in a singular higher power, yeah. higher power. Yeah. so that could be jesus that could be god that could be allah uh, yep uh they just need an architect That's yeah right. so so I, they, I mean, they, they need to worship I mean, somebody. And, and, they just got to worship, and right? in all fairness, it could be Satan. Like, it could be anyone. As long as you have somebody at the end of the day to, to answer to. Because what's an oath? What's a promise? But that's the thing. What like other you, institution like, like will have you do rituals you and initiation? In if you don't skulls. believe in anything. Yeah, exactly. But with, check it out. With the atheists. What like, other? Let's say you didn't believe in anything. You're an atheist. You, you make an agreement with me. You go, you back out on that. There's, well, there's not like there's no there's no so there's no fear to answer to. there's yeah. no fear there's no fear in God. Okay. Well, you, Albert Pike, need. Albert Pike, your Grand Wizard, highest authority, said if you're an atheist, the vacuum in your mind that does not occupy God will occupy veganism, liberalism. You will obsess oh, yeah. over something. something, so you'll make something into your religion. <clears throat> That's why it's so dangerous. But what other social club, if you want to just call it a social club? has rituals and initiations. Only religious temples have this. Yeah. So you admit Knight, you're a religious temple. Knights. That's why Knight, you guys are called a Masonic I, I mean, temple. I mean, Knights of Columbus has very similar uh, initiations. So are you a religious group or not? No. But you just we're, admit we're you fraternity. do rituals. What? We're a fraternity. How can you be a fraternity? Bro, bro, doesn't, co doesn't college fraternities yeah, have rituals? They have, they uh, have rituals. They have. They, <laughs> they have. Haze, they they haze, haze people. Those are considered to, rituals. Hey, rituals towards to God on an altar? No, they don't. I'm, we're not talking about God. You, you have, have you rituals. have the Bible on the altar, right? It depends on their faith, but yeah, it's usually the Bible. Wouldn't you say you're perverting? The Bible, because if you have a Muslim and a Buddhist in your lodge, you're not giving them truth. You're giving them your guys' model, fraternity over truth. Meaning, don't talk about religion in the lodge. That's what you guys say. Meaning, don't talk about the truth. Don't talk about Jesus in the lodge. Wait, which building is Jesus not allowed to be talked about? That's Jesus' building. Jesus can be talked about in any building. If you guys have fraternity and brotherhood over truth, then that is the highest level Satanism I've ever heard about. Think about that. That means be friends with that Muslim in the lodge. He'll make you billions of dollars. Just don't talk to him about his religion and don't talk to him about Christ. Don't save his soul. Just go make money with him. You guys are like the highest level Jews. Think about it. It is the Old Testament. But how, how do you sit in a lodge and say, I'm not allowed to talk about Jesus as a Christian and you find that okay? Well, well they, when you're in lodge, when you're doing... Uh, the business because it's more about affecting your immediate community so 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 what happens with religion and when you bring that up is it gets in the way of business yeah. it gets in the way of charity yeah true. so right. so that's that's why they don't talk about well yeah but what is truth because you're gonna have what 15, is charity 15 if, if, times of, who cares about charity if you're not saving souls who said who said we're not 
Well, you're not telling the Buddhist in the lodge he needs to convert. That's, no. That's you're not. letting him live in fairy tale land where Buddha Buddha doesn't even Bro, stop there, a woman from being there's raped. There's always going to be people in fairy tale land. There's nothing we could really do. Oh, about so that. there's always going to be women getting punched in the face. I might as well start doing it myself. Well, no, that makes you complicit. Either way, I'm yeah. complicit. I should tell her. I should tell people to stop punching her, right? Me, tell a woman to stop being punched. Yeah. You see, Christianity saved me. I'm saving women's lives now. I used to punch women all the time, and then Jesus said, "Cut it out." Now check it out. There's no way you believe in fraternity over truth. As no, a that's Christian, why, that's no, why, you don't. That's why. I, that's why I joined to to get the truth because everyone. Do you think you found it? <sighs> that's a no. I, I, yeah, that's a no. 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 That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> you went through 32 degrees. There. You haven't found anything? Bro, I'm telling you, 32 degrees is not as impressive as But, but on the think. 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, you guys adhere to a supreme authority named Lucifer on page 321 of Morals and Dogma. Admit it. They, they, they definitely Who's speak they? You mean you guys? Yeah. You, the, so the, is Lucifer your supreme authority and you call Jesus Adonai your second in command? No. Or no, you guys see it as a dualistic standing on your square, black and white, yin and yang, Adonai and Lucifer. Is Lucifer your supreme well, authority? He's real with you. Yeah, no, not me. No? Not me. So Albert Pike was lying? Your supreme authority was lying? Albert Pike. Well, Albert Pike's not supreme authority. He's the Pope of Masonry. Bro, yeah. Who are we going to go by? We're going to go by Shaq, the Freemason? Are you going to trust the Pope of the Vatican? <laughs> what? Whoa. On, like, but, but, but it's on, literally in a book that was not meant for the public. That book was not meant for the public. Mor and, Morals and dogma? Yeah, page 321, you say Lucifer the Lightbringer is your authority. See, they say it wasn't meant for the public, but I, I Well, don't, you're not answering I don't, it. I don't agree. Does, does he say Lucifer is your god? I'm going to be honest. I didn't read that book. I don't, none of you Masons did, but, Albert, but Albert pause, Mike pause, pause. None of you Masons did. You all lose to me in a debate, except 30th. The 33rd degree, you have to read it. Yeah. Those degrees, that means you did read it. No, Those degrees not, have to read they, that. There's parts of... You don't become a 30th degree there, without finishing there, morals and dogmas. There's, there's parts of that book that are just in rituals in general. Oh, right. So, I, you're so, right. You're right. You're right. So, right so, that, so okay. those parts, I know. Which parts did they tell you you have to finish to, to open your lodge? You essentially just need to get through the first three degrees. But, did you have to finish Morals and Dogma or not? No, not for that. Morals and Dogma. You didn't do it out of interest? Like, I wonder who the hell we're praying to? No. No. I, I just want to say there's a war going on in the chat room right now. Fuck GG33 <laughs> and GG33 for life. Yeah, time I that out. It's boring. I, I, it's boring. I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the war going on because we got one here. Go ahead, man. Yo, time, yo Mods, man. time that out because I want the topic to be what I'm talking They're about. They're basically saying fuck GG33. No, fuck GG33, <laughs> but do it later. Right now, let's stay on topic. And, yo, I'm giving, I'm grilling a 32 he's, degree. He's grilling Mason. somebody. Now, hold on. What did you have to do to start your lodge? So why are you exhaling like that? Are you sweaty? No. So the, are we uh, going too hard on you? Yeah, no. Gary, Gary, am I going too hard on your boy? Yeah, man. Keep uh, going, brother. The uh, I told I told him what happens when he gets in the lion's den. All right, let, let's just stay on that topic. I, I exhale because there's a lot to unpack here. Okay. You always say that, but there's not much to unpack. Is Lucifer your god? No. Then why? He's did, not my god. But why <laughs> did he, Pike he, say that? Why did he say that? Bro, I don't know. He's just crazy. I'm not Albert Pike. Well, he, I, I believe he had a lot of good points in there because name lot, some. Because I don't, I'm not gonna go through the ritual. Well, give me one. Give me one good point. I told you I didn't read the book. Okay. Okay. Well, there is a part in the book where he's talking about a philosophical, alchemical um, transformation where you turn lead to gold, but he's talking about the mind turning from regular to genius. And he's talking about a bosom, and it's all done in allegory. And I actually broke it down with a style of meditation I used to practice. He was talk when he's talking about the serpent and the staff, he's talking about the penis. He's talking about a rape ritual done in Egyptian caves of a young boy. That if you rape a boy at five years old, they are the perfect MK Ultra soldier. That they will never piss away the Masonic wealth. Do you believe there's rape sodomy rituals happening in the highest levels of Freemasonry? Not your lodge. I'm not accusing you yeah, guys. Yeah. 
But uh, and and remember, there's gay stuff happening in fraternities yeah. in college. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying this is not to be gay, like rainbow. This is systematically done at the highest levels of billionaire masonry. That that means the umbrella of masonry, skull and bones, all of them, every single. You, so skull and bones is is not really. Masonic. Those are homos. Yeah, but it's not Masonic. Right, right but I'm saying all those clubs have to... You know what's funny? Skull and Bones is not Masonic. Freemasonry, all these practices, when you look at their initiation rituals, they're identical to witchcraft. You Have you seen a witchcraft uh, initiation ceremony? It's identical to your harem and a biff ceremony that you're not allowed to talk about because they'll Correct. chop your fucking tongue off. <laughs> but it's identical with the blindfold, with the rope. It's identical yeah. to that ceremony. Yeah. Care for what you said, but yeah, you said Zerka doesn't know much. <laughs> I no, didn't say too. that. No, Gary thought I would lose. I didn't say that. You it's one hundred percent at the top that the billionaires practice this sodomy ritual. This gay homosexual with their as, Hollywood elite friends. As as I said earlier. There's none of that going on in Cleveland, Ohio at the very none top, of that right? Going, no. Okay. None so of that going so it might be going on in when, New York and the big cities, but nothing in Cleveland, Ohio. No. Okay. Not here. The, uh, I can buy into that. When when you when you go, like I said, whenever you have billions of dollars being thrown around at the top, there's corruption. There's going to be people doing the rituals because it's the same people. They just put a different face on, and then they use different people. The funny thing about Masons is I think they essentially have almost created their own downfall because one of the things before the ritual, I don't know if you're familiar with this part, Circa, but... They like to make a joke, something about the goat. Like, oh, yeah. watch out for the goat. The goat's yeah. going to be in there. I think they're they're the they're the they're Indians. the scapegoat. The Masons are the scapegoat. Oh, really? I thought it was for, the Jews. For the bro, where the Masons are the scapegoat. You, if you think that there's only one scapegoat. <laughs> Well, it, right, that's wrong. a better argument. Yeah, yeah, there's they, multiple like, scapegoats. There's multiple. The Zionists have always run the Jew, the Freemasons. They've always ran that shit. Yeah, but the Zionists are... It, 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 big time Freemasons have told me, uh, you know, the reason, the reason they're on the Zionist side is because they want to be on the winning side. This is uh, people above him, too. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. No, I'd say... I, I, you know what? I'm going to leave before I'm, I get myself in trouble. On the it's on you. <laughs> He's joking. He's not actually one of them. <laughs> on, on, the, on the surface, uh, at least what we do and what I've experienced in Lodge... They're, it's usually, usually, usually just a bunch of old dudes that want to get together, hang out. But the same words you guys say to, to start a ritual or finish ritual is identical to witchcraft. Identical to the rule book of witchcraft. And it's the, called, you guys are called the royal craft. The royal the, craft the royal in the... Arch, yeah, the royal arch. But, but your craft is the royal craft. The royal yeah. craft is a synonym for witchcraft. That's why... Uh, throughout history, all the kings would have a magician next to them teaching them how to bend the invisible forces of nature, how to attract certain people towards you. You admit that masonry is a type of witchcraft? Well, it's definitely it's definitely something magical. I don't know. Manny P. Hall wrote a book on magic. He's a 33-degree mason. He's a Canadian high-authority mason, and he wrote about magic it, and how you guys are literally using Egyptian-style black gray and white magic depending on left hand or right hand path yeah here here's something which is funny because there's a black gray and white pope in the jesuit liberal order and that's the order the society of jesus is a masonic society yeah and i i don't i wouldn't really trust the pope or, or the but you trust the top of albert anything. pike i don't i don't even read you're, his book. you're you're <laughs> evil pope i didn't even read his book i don't even like this guy i don't I don't know who Pike is. I know him. I know who he is, but I don't think you're allowed to say you don't like him because he would be like above you and everyone. I'm not. Suicidal. That's like me saying I don't. I'm not suicidal. <laughs> I'm not suicidal. Oh, okay, my bad. Am I doing that to you? Oh shit, my bad, my bad. Okay. Well, you know what? You're not with Jesus. Get his ass. <laughs> Were you ever going to church as a young man? Yeah, yeah, I still do. Okay, because I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also Knights of Columbus. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. How long? How long? I've been doing that since 2014. You took another oath? 2015. What's the oath they, sound they, like? They didn't conflict. What's the oath sound like? What's the oath? Basically saying that 
Uh, I believe in God, Jesus, the Trinity, and things like you that. You guys say Jesus? Yeah, in okay. in Knights of Columbus, yeah. Interesting. But then the oath in Masonry, you're not allowed to say the, Jesus, are you? Correct, because it could be Jesus, it could be Muhammad, it could be Oh, anything. really? As a Christian, yeah. you share that position? It could be? It, it could be. It definitely can't it, be, because those gods are demons. In, to join the fraternity. Yeah. Like, to join the fraternity, are, demons are, could be yeah. the truth. Are they right? Probably not. Jesus and Christ is Why gay. would you enter a spiritual temple, like a Masonic temple, and discard Christianity just to have some friends in this business you want? You, you want? I, 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 I really got into it because I, I want to know the rituals. I want to see you what like, they're talking about. Yeah. Like, you can't, you can't fight the other side if you don't know what, what they're playbook is you know what i'm saying that's exactly what i said when they called me out yeah <laughs> like, so the whole difference is i didn't take an oath bro why would you take an oath you can read this stuff without taking an oath man yeah that i mean that's true you built the whole lodge you joined their side you're literally with the sith <laughs> why didn't you why didn't you become a pastor or something if you oh i think that'd be worse why being a pastor oh like a gay pastor yeah no like a straight uh, pastor yeah a straight guy? You could be a good pastor. Aren't there good pastors? Yeah, there's yeah, there's some good ones. Why did you build a lodge? Or why why well, are you I calling it a lodge? Call it a I temple. Yeah. I Call it a religious temple. I didn't build I didn't build the lodge. I just happened to run it for a little while. Who who was running it first? Before? Uh it's a succession of people. So well, what, what, old, what old guys, line of work are they into? All over the place. It's always a rich dude, it's, right? It's a, not always. Not always. The the rich dudes tend to do better at running it uh, than than the, the not rich guys, but but yeah, it's not always. They don't need to. They don't need to have money. At least not on that level. Once you get to the top and top, yes, usually those dudes are crushing it. Why are people like you know Helena Blavatsky? She's on your side, and she's like totally anti Christ, hates Christ. All these people who are anti Christ are always pro Freemason. You ever wonder which side you're on? Well, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't wonder which side I'm on. What side they're on, I don't know as a whole. So I, I could see that conflict. Who's but a if, good but Christian if, but, Freemason? But if, you, but if you think Dale Godby, besides uh, you. <laughs> besides the obvious answer, obviously um, there is none. There's no good Christian Freemason. Yeah, I, I mean... When we look at... this, yeah. What's the difference from Shaq and other basketball players? He has $500 million more million, and he has the Masonic ring. He is an admitted Mason on TV. All these Masons are always doing this spirit cooking. Have you seen that? Blood magic rituals? Why are you pretending you've not seen that? Well, I've not personally seen them. You haven't personally seen any art that resembles blood magic? Oh, yeah, art. Yeah, yeah for art, sure, art. Sure. art yeah. Yeah. To invoke spirits. I haven't seen any. Where have you seen the like art? In per person. In person, you've seen the art. You don't have no. friends who invoke spirits through blood magic art? Not that I'm aware of. You know who Marina Abramovich is? A lot of her witchcraft looks like masonry. Yeah. Anywhere you find witchcraft, you find masonry. Anywhere you find masonry, you find black magic and witchcraft. And a lot of money. So I get why you went there. Yeah. Jesus is king. Jesus you is king, You have to answer bro. to him one day. I know. And Jesus can be like, you're I'm in, working on it. You're, you, in, you're hey, in a temple with hey, sodomites. Even Jesus had to go to hell before he could take over. He conquered death. You think you're going to conquer death like Jesus? I'm not going to conquer. I don't know. But well, you gotta you gotta get into you gotta get into it before you can fix it. I feel like I'm sense. giving you a hard time because I'm in, I was an initiated European Rosicrucian. I needed work, so these people helped me find work. But man, the stuff they're teaching was like meditative practices, and they taught me uh, about afterlife, and it's very different from the Bible. What, same with masonry. What you guys talk about spirit world, you buy into what masonry teaches about spirit world. You guys say that. If someone's addicted to fentanyl, someone who died, their spirit went inside you and is gripping for the drug, is addicted. You guys believe in a bunch of stuff that's identical to the Bible, but it's inverted always. And you guys never talk about salvation. There's no Freemason who ever talks about salvation. No. Yeah, that doesn't How really do you get saved up. as a Freemason? 
that that doesn't come up. Um, That's terrifying. Yeah. I would say if there's anything useful in masonry, it would be the seven, seven things that you need to study, seven liberal arts and sciences, which are grammar, rhetoric, logic, arithmetic, you mean spell casting. geometry, Just say spell music. Casting. Say your Phoenician, astronomy. Phoenician spell casting in bro, English. Bro, they're telling you. That is Gematria and they're, numerology. They're telling you that that creates everything. The, the way that you write your words, the way that you uh, inflect your words, the logic, the arrangement at which you put things, uh, then numbers, math, arithmetic, and then geometry, that's the biggest one, that's also another representative of the G, like you go into sacred geometry, you're using all these things, they're literally telling you how, how the world is, is created. Yeah. And, and this is why... No, it's funny, you guys say how the world's created, but none of you can actually understand it, you pretend. Like, yeah. what is sacred geometry? The thought patterns of God? Like, you think a Mason understands God? No, he doesn't. Not all of them. Most Masons just pretend. Yeah, mo I And agree. you guys I, convert I, on your deathbed, you I, come back to Christ. Bro, Each I, and every I, one of you. I agree with that. Most of them do pretend. They're there and they don't really do much. And they're, they're not... What is sacred geometry? What is that cube in the Israeli star? Is that a Saturnian cult? A sex magic cult, like your masonry, like that seal of Solomon. You guys come from the tribe of at, Solomon. At, at you that. guys are a Saturnian satanic cult, a sex cult. That's why that cube is there. It's a Saturnian cube. For, yeah. That's why the Muslims yeah, for, walk around the Kaaba. They do a yes, halo ring for, for for them. But the the principle, the idea. But of it's the seal of Solomon. Geometry. That hex. The Star of David is a hex. It's the yeah. seal of Solomon. Solomon's you Masons. Your guy. So, correct. He's the one who taught you all oh, this yeah, black yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah, he had 500 yes. concubines and just studied black For magic. Sure. And he worshipped different stargates and star gods just like you guys. Right? Yeah. What King does Osiris Solomon, mean to you? Well, King Solomon was one of the, the best and most wise rulers that ever existed. Most However. Evil. Yeah. However, he didn't start off evil. He, he was a great ruler for many, many years. And then he fell. He became, he, he did things of he whores, shouldn't have done. Because yeah, temptation. That's true. Whores are no good. Then why but, am I always around them? They're no good, bro. You need to be saved. <laughs> King Solomon is a high-level black magician that you guys emulate. Yes. You guys yeah. emulate him. Yeah. Well, it's to show that even if you have everything, you, you have everything you could ever ask for, you are a great person in society, you can still fail. You can still fall. You will still fail. You need to be saved by Jesus Christ Almighty. Which King Solomon was. Now, what what about the raising harem and abif ritual, the initiation? Can you talk about that? You guys mock Jesus' sacrifice to become a mason. Um, or did I just read 100 books for no reason? Maybe, no. Maybe well, I'm lying, you, right? Yeah, maybe you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I don't know, I don't know what, guys, how much, I don't know how much I could talk about. The that, resurrection but, of Harem and Abif is not, yeah. is not blasphemy? Is not mocking Jesus' resurrection? It's the whole reason cool. I didn't become a Mason when the, my military buddies are getting me into it. I said, look at this. I'm not a Christian, but I don't dare mock Christ. Yeah. You guys mock Christ to become. Before you become worshipful master, you guys do a resurrection ritual to mock Jesus. And what's funny is you guys don't even deny Jesus. You say he's real, but Lucifer is the side, is your supreme it, authority. Well... It just seems you guys are afraid of it Jesus. seems that way because they're always talking about astronomy and the sun and light and Lucifer being, you know, light light bringer. It just yeah, it everything points that direction. What is Lucifer, the light bringer? Is that the Statue of Liberty? He's, the land he's of the a fall, free fallen angel. Land he's, of the free yeah. Masons. The Statue of Liberty is the light bringer Lucifer. It's, Your it's president's not, it's not a lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not a lady. It's not a lady. Wait, but Lucifer can be seen as male and female, depending if you look at Venus or whatever. It uh, does change. But now, do you agree all presidents were Masons? They didn't go to church. 
not not all presidents, but there there were a few. Um, there were there were a few like George Washington, uh, Roosevelt. Why does Donald McKinley. Trump have a Kabbalah teacher since a young age? That's kind of weird. Probably because he's a good businessman. He's around all the Jews, bro. Right, but he's, oh, you're saying they're studying nonsense, or does it work? Does that kind of no, magic it, work? I, I I would imagine that it works because like everything is energy. This is this is a whole reason why imprinted energy is even a thing and why it, it it works because we have different cycles, we have different waves, we have different vibrations that are constantly going on. Like the light spectrum that we can actually see is super tiny. The light spectrum that we know about is much larger. Yeah. And then you're saying the three there's, lights. There's stuff we don't even know about. The light spectrum exists. is three lights. That's the Trinity, and it splits into seven, the seven seals of Revelation. That's how it goes through a prism. You Pythagorean Bro. guys, right? Yeah. With Pythagoras, you guys learn about that. Yeah, Pythagoras. Why is the Trinity past, present, future, liquid, solid, gas? The Trinity is everywhere. There's no way it to is. deny Jesus. Three is the magic number well, of God. I, I think the, three is one. Yeah, I think the thing with where with Jesus that most people deny is that he is not also God. He, he's not the true savior. I think that's where a lot of, cause I mean, Jews believe he existed. Everyone knew he was there. They just don't believe that he's a savior. They, right, what are you trying to say? I'm just saying, that's where the disconnect is. Yeah, the not, Jews not, went to the synagogue yeah. of Satan. And they, the Muslims strip divinity away from Christ. And then everyone else who is sound-minded say, okay, that is the largest name of God. That is that is the prime mover. Jesus is God. Yeah. Jesus is the son of man. Jesus is the son of God. And Jesus is the eternal past, present, future. Eternal salvation. Jesus is God. No doubt about that. No one even denies it. This is the... What is the ultimate form of love is sacrificing yourself for a family member that's the god that is the ultimate form of love no other story has that every other religion says you have to take us jacob's ladder you have to take stairs up to god if you do this 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 you get closer to god just do this 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 and pray and and do some charity and you're getting closer to god you're going up 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 the ladder jesus is the only one that says your foot is broken i'll come down the ladder and save you Jesus is the only story of God that comes down and grabs you. You just have to accept. That's now, wh who the fuck, after years of depression, anxiety, has energy to climb, keep doing good things, keep doing good deeds? Nobody. We're exhausted. We want to be saved. Jesus is king. Now, chat, grill him. Oh, I, I think they were. but No, no, grill him with questions, guys, not <laughs> trolling. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it interesting how in Kabbalah, the Muslims worship the Kaaba for Allah, the Kabbalah? Yeah. It kind of seems like a spellcasting, the Jewish spellcasting. There is, but everything that we do every day is spellcasting in a way. Just having this conversation is... Oh, perfect. What shape is the earth? Because you know, <laughs> Freemasons write about something it's, else. Yeah, well, they take it more from the Old Testament, it would be, it's not flat. What? It's not. You're saying Freemasons don't think it's flat? It's, I'm saying it's not the way that people perceive flat earth to be. Uh, it would be more of a Taurus effect because everything that you see is energy. Everything, oh, you, a field? E everything you see, yeah. Okay. Everything you see is sound. Everything you see yeah. is waves, vibration. Vibration and resonance. It. Yeah. It's all, it's all. Uh, essentially a it's through your mind you're projecting things through your mind you don't... basically chat what he's saying is if we sit next to each other there's a resonance and vibration frequency that's different than if he sat next to Bill that's why when you put star players like Kobe Bryant and these guys on a team they're them just standing next to each other the energy goes so high that they become the best player they don't even have to yeah. train with each other they just know where to be Right? Yeah. So it's, certain humans do better, right? Just by standing next to each other. And they also prove that a certain object 
changes its frequency if you put yeah. it next to another one. Yeah. So it's not just humans, it's material yeah, it's stuff too. And and the uh I don't think he's allowed to talk about the rituals. Are you allowed to talk about Masonic rituals? Not not really. There's some parts of it that I could probably go yeah, over. Yeah, break it but, down. Um What can you talk about? What can I talk about? Well, I mean I know I can talk about the seven liberal arts and sciences. Which, that's it? Which I know that's that's good. Uh one of the one of my favorite lines in masonry and i think so a lot of people think hey you need to, you need to help everybody out you need to be charitable in the organization but that's not necessarily true that's not what they're saying because there's there's a part in the ritual which exists he that shall so demean himself as to not provide a kind of stock and knowledge of understanding shall be deemed a drone, a useless member of society, and unworthy of our protection as Masons. So that is from the third degree, and it's essentially saying, if people aren't willing to help themselves and do the work, and they're, they're not contributing, you don't, it's, it's not your obligation to help them out. Yeah. Like if they're not willing to, to take that extra step, if you reach out your hand, like Jesus, you reach out your hand, you're about to help try to save somebody, if they're not willing to reach back, yeah. bro, drop them. They're going to meet you halfway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if they don't meet you halfway, they're of the devil. That's really, they, any human who enjoys their own suffering and wants to wallow in it, they're enjoying self-harm to a soul that it belongs to Jesus. If you cut your wrist, you're doing black magic. You're doing, you're joining the devil. If yeah. you commit suicide, you're with the devil. I would highly suggest not doing those things. Unless you're a mason. <laughs> now hold on <laughs> your buddy is in your lodge do you guys go out and party or like get some beers together and stuff uh yeah not as much as they used to but yeah we'll do that well, you guys go out and just do yeah, just hang out shit? Yep, just hang out and what are they muslims christians most of them in our lodge would be christians you know catholic would they sell their soul for a billion dollars would they? I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of them would. would yeah. Would you? No. Why? Bro, would I, you kiss a man for it. a billion dollars? Kiss? On the lips? No, no, not the lips. A cheek? I, I'd consider that for a billy. Come on, I can get over that. You can get over it for a billion. You kiss them on the not, lips? No, not the lips. I'm saying the cheek. Oh my God! That's still gay as fuck. No, I'd, I'd only billy. kiss a man on the cheeks for free. <laughs> for a billy? Like, you know, congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't do it for if it's an, under a gay context. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, so far, so... He, Jeff, does he seem sinister? I'm not here to, like, make sure you guys like him. If you think he's evil, spam evil in the chat. He believes the earth is a sphere. Mm. Right? Who? You? Me? Do you believe, do you believe in the moon landing? Is it? No. No. Well, no. I believe... It, that we have footage of it. I mean, it, 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 it exists. Do you believe we landed on the moon? I, I'm i skeptical of that. You're skeptical? Yeah. What, what did your Freemason buddy say? Didn't you guys plant yeah. the Freemason flag on the moon? There's well, a, yeah, 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 you guys that's, have a Freemason. That's what they said. Neil Armstrong spelled Let, backwards as alien, for God's sake. Let's put it this way. If, uh, if they went to the moon, the moon is not external to our system. Oh, really? Oh, it'd be within the dome? Yeah. Listen, I don't know what the fuck these guys talk about. The earth is fucking hollow and there's an advanced civilization. Well, here's, why, here's what bothered me is in, in masonry, the sun and the moon are 3.3, 3, the 33, 3.3 miles away. Like, that's how you guys... That's convenient. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, how can you not be a flat earther if you're a Freemason? Like, all your math checks out. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's But it's not... If I say flat earth, people are not going to get the proper idea of what it actually is. Yeah, you want to say a geocentric toroidal field that changes. Like, it, yeah. it changes. It's like a realm. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is. I do believe that it's capped. What do you mean? Oh, like with the, the dome. Yeah, yeah, you have to minute. because of yeah. your, your symbol's art. For, well, and in the Bible. Like, if you if you believe in that. <laughs> David, put that, that picture we had on the intro screen. Put it just down here so we can all see it. I think you drag and drop it. You guys on your apron, your Masonic Egyptian style apron, 
it shows a flat earth with the waters above and the dome on the apron right here. Just make it big for 10 seconds. There's your ape. This is on your apron. But look at that. You start on earth, the black and white, whether, you know, left hand or right hand. Then you go through the two pillars, with, is it Jockin and Boaz, you call Correct. them? Yeah. And th this is pretty much like your mother's uh, legs, right? The womb, uh, everything you guys believe is beauty and strength, that only attributes of God, which, you know, everything else stems from that. And look at this. There's a dome. Usually there's waters above, so we got the wrong picture. But there's a dome here. And just like the Bible, it's being held on pillars. Yeah. You, this is a flat earth uh, the symbols and allegory hidden in it. This is a flat earth. Is there any truth to this, my man? Do you believe that? I mean, yeah, you could see it, but not, as I said before, not the traditional way of thinking of flat earth. But, okay. but the dome, I agree with. So you don't believe um, the earth is round? It's not a spinning globe, bro. Okay. Absolutely not. That... I love. Do you see that? Do you see? And he did it. You did a Masonic handshake. <laughs> you did that just to make me look a part of it. You literally. What a dirtbag, bro! I knew when I felt the thumb. Yo, never trust these guys, bro. I if I didn't catch that, there'd have been a million Reddit articles. I, I what was I thanking him? All right, that that you're yeah, you're yeah. you know it's not a globe. Yeah, okay, globe. so he's being honest there. Yeah, I, I, oh, the fuck that, that is fucking crazy. <laughs> this is just so I remember to do research. <laughs> right? Okay. Like, it's like anytime they gave me shit, they're like, dude, you used to know so much more, but you stopped reading. The case was a gift, as in keep doing research. Yeah. Because this is the only reason I went to Christ, is re reading about you, Satanists. Like, yeah. I said, I don't, I don't want to. And I don't think you guys are like deliberate Satanists. I think you guys are all just confused. Just like dude, Muslims, yeah. like Buddhists and stuff like that. So but, you're, you're basically calling them whores that don't know any better? But no, no. It's, <laughs> the billionaire guys that they get funded by, those guys know what no, they're that, doing. That's oh, who yeah. funds me. Yeah. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. He's a light. light stop, one. stop, stop. <laughs> I'll never get over them accusing me of this. Because I always thought the first Mason I debated, he said, you know more than our... Ma Master God. Mason is a title given out after you. Third That's three degree, months, right? Like third degree, three months, months degree. to be a Master yeah. Mason. Is that kind of like a stupid fucking name, a Master Mason? There's so many fucking degrees above it. No, because that's all you need well, to yeah, be their stooge. Yeah, that's all you need to build. Yeah, to be their stooge, to, that's all you need. To and some yeah, of you guys are yeah, called adepts, and you guys have psychic training. Whoa. Is that true? Like you guys, some of you guys are clairvoyant. I'm sure there is, just because, like... Well, they're in, you, you yeah. guys are in the military program. The Masons that are linked with military, they actually can, like, have psychic abilities. And these guys are, like, pro young prospects that the military takes. But there's a lot of Masonic martyrs that talk about you guys being able to go with using the penile gland and going clairvoyant, which the penile gland, Manny P. Hall, 33-degree Mason, says is made out of the same material as a firefly. So you know how fireflies can glow mm -hmm. in its flesh? Mm -hmm. That we have that too. And the penile gland would be uh, attached to, you would say chakras, right? Third mm -hmm. eye chakra? I, I think the crown chakra is attached to the pineal gland. Oh, the crown, because they say something different. They say the crown is separate. That's the holy one. But the third eye is biting from the apple of no or the fruit of gnosis. It's not an apple, it's fruit. But what is the third eye? What is the penile gland to you? And yeah, go ahead. I think he summed it up pretty good. Like, do you guys uh, learn about it, or because this they, is they deep, they, deep yeah, stuff? Yeah, they don't. They don't directly talk about that. It, it is there is there is a representation. Like there are there are pine cones mm -hmm. uh, in, in certain of the structures mm -hmm. that are representative of the penile clan. But I know when the Pope and these bishops they light that incense. That you know they light something yeah. before they do this ritual mm -hmm. and stuff. I researched that, and as soon as you get a whiff of that. Apparently, it awakens your pituitary gland, which is the opposite of penile. Penile is the solar, pituitary is the lunar. And when the sun bathes with the moon, you get perfect Christ consciousness, Brahmic splendor, whatever you guys want to call it, your cosmic state, your genius visions you have, right? Which makes you guys billionaires and stuff. What is the symbol and masonry of male? It's fire, it's a triangle, and female is a pussy, an upside down triangle. When you put those together, that's the seal of Solomon, the male bathing with the female, the star of David. Yeah. And then you guys think when the left hand and the right hand side of the brain fuse in one thought, 
that you guys achieve this Christ consciousness that you guys go into a trance-like state where, where never being instructed to paint, you can pull out a fucking Mona Lisa. You can just go into this state. Everyone talked about this. Manny P. Hall, yeah. Pike. Yeah. Do you guys well, learn this meditative well, practice? I think, I think that's just by taking in the ritual and actually applying it. The more and more you do it, the more that you're going to unlock your mind, your perspective, the way you think about things. Because the first thing that you need to, to change before you can do anything different is your mind. You need to change the way you think. Well, I tried doing this. And, and if it... I tried doing this. Carl Jung was talking about it. He called it active imagination. And I went into the deepest parts of sleep paralysis and the most satanic demonic contract I've ever been faced and I became a Christian because I needed to breathe so I said let's try it Christ is King I woke up and it was the first time as an adult I cried for two hours like a bitch like a, imagine yeah. me crying like sobbing and it was the best dream of my life that immediately went to the worst nightmare and it's so vivid but I woke up and then my life that month I hated being a Christian my first month being a Christian was like around January February Thing. And then boom, my life skyrocketed into success, and not homo success like these guys. Everyone wants to <laughs> yeah. be me. Yeah. Everyone wants to be me, and I'll never look back, and I'll never stop being a Christian after that. Because I was like, I don't believe chemicals is why I had that dream. Do you believe the love you have for your mother is just chemicals in your head? No, this is a spiritual no. component. Yeah. It's, it's so a- your dreams are spiritual, like Freud and Jung said. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. And in this spirit world. These invisible impulses, they're going to whisper, go be a Freemason. Forget being a pastor. And you went to the dark side. They got You're me, Anakin. Bro. Oh, no. You went to the dark side and now he's going to burn in hell. All of them? You, Gary, you're not a flat earther. You're, you don't belong on this table. Yeah, Gary, what are you doing? Well, you guys can get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. We got two cozy in his home. It's- now hold on. What does thirty three mean to you? Thirty three. I mean, it's a it's a transformational stage. You can never be a thirty three unless you're you, called upon. Yes, right? correct. So you're thirty two for life. Thirty two unless unless they. He's in th- GG three yeah. three. He's already an honorary yeah, thirty three. Honorary. Because but. at the thirty third degree, they're going to tell you to spit on the Bible, and they they don't care if you do it or not. They they look at your instinct. If you hesitate, they say it's not real. But if you immediately spit on it, you go into billionaire class. Do you believe that? Because I, I, I've heard stuff like that for the past 20 years myself. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's not that. a 33rd, yeah. so he hasn't I been tested. I he believes it. So. Would you spit on the Bible? <laughs> to be no. a 33rd? Okay. They're I, watching. Yeah, I, no. I, I would never spit on the Bible, but I have used it for rolling papers before. I've seen a Muslim that's do that different. The they have a lot of blank pages. I do the same thing for the Quran. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not going to lie. I, when I was studying the Bible, I started highlighting words. And the person on the airplane next to me is like, what are you doing? But like highlighting so I can d- debate. I was like h- using my highlighter on the Bible. Yeah. And the t- person next to me thought it was like you, if, you infidel. You think that's bad what I did? Because I wanted to win the debate. I didn't want to fucking make notes and shit. No, How's that bad? Yeah, I don't think I don't think highlighting the word of God is a bad thing. Yeah, it was like a cheap Bible I bought. Like, well, look at that smile. Look at this. <laughs> now check it out. If you could have it your way, would you ban Freemason in America? No. I wouldn't. The reason for that is there's a lot of people out there looking for something, and at least Christ is not enough, right? They got to find something else. There's going to be a lot of people that miss out on Christ. But if they join this, they may find them because they're like, you know, they run into guys like me or. But no Mason you, but. ever finds what they're looking for. They, you guys on your deathbed always come back to Christ. It's actually sad. Like, no one on their deathbed goes, Hiram Abyss was correct. Like, nobody gives a fuck about that shit. Yeah. That's all just like hocus pocus, so you guys could have some power. In I don't think Masons have any real power anyway anymore. They used to have power in the 1800s. They used to have power in the 1700s. They designed Washington D.C. What based about off- the Jesuit order in the Vatican? They're, those are Masons. But, 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 but what I'm, I'm not saying. I'm just saying the Masons themselves. They fell off, bro. They fell off. Like why a, is he still in like the a, lodge? They're like a run-in whore, bro. Well, they don't why have. Why does he still have a lodge then? Why do you? Have, why are you in the lodge if you guys have no power? 
What do you? Gain I said I, I said it's diminished quite what a bit. What do you gain from being a mason? That, that is what is that's what a good do you question. Gain? What do I gain by being a mason? Yeah. It's not like you're getting. Well, saved. I think saved. I think especially w- when you're a younger person, you don't have accountability a lot of times, or you don't have a purpose. There's, oh, come on, it's for connections. There's nobody. There's you nobody counting on you. You want connections, bro? Come on, that's why here's, you joined GG33. I'm I'm telling you, he definitely joined, joined GG33 for connections. I joined GG33. <laughs> How many masons are in this absolutely. numerology cult? How many? Are there uh, a lot of Masons here? Well, it's not You're a, the highest rank. It's, it's not a cult, number one. I, it's a cult of personality, thank you. But it's Why is cult a bad word? Hey, uh, because it's meant to hey, be a bad to, word. Uh, because it's always like cunt. Chat, you know, cult, chat. Cunt, same shit. Mine's a cult. Chat, you gotta go oh. to gg33classes.com. I feel like you are more loyal to numerology than Mason. Bro, I'm loyal to the truth. Really? Hey. Except you can't talk about the truth in your temple. Yeah. He, can, he can talk about... You're not allowed yeah. to talk yeah. about he, Jesus. He can talk about more Masonic shit. Than, he can talk about my shit, that's for sure. Are you allowed to talk about numerology in, in your temple? Yeah, you are. Yeah, we can talk about that. Just not Jesus. Just, no. no. That's Yeah, religion and politics. Anything that can cause a division in Lodge. After Lodge, we can talk about it. Well, some could say that this is paths of divination. That this is... A type of religious energy he's bringing. I'm, I'm not. He's I'm, predicting the future. Oh, you think that I, Bible I, likes that. They, they they have a program in BlackRock and Vanguard called Aladdin. This predicted programming. They have all these computers out here to fucking tell you which way the stock Gary, market's going up. You and think down. it's okay? The same he, shit. he cannot talk about Jesus, but he can talk about numerology in his lodge. You think that's okay? I didn't. You can talk about anything you want in GG33. I'm, I'm not. You can't talk anything. about. Jesus, but you could talk about numerology. That's got to be. How are you? How do you do that in good conscience? Why not just break the rules and say, talk about Jesus, guys? Talk about numerology in the lodge, but not Jesus. Jesus no, bought us numerology. Most of the time, the guys just want to get out of there. They want. They, <laughs> <laughs> they, guys they're so not sinister. They, they just. They, a bunch they, of stoners. They, they just want to, like, do what they're supposed to do and then. Move on. I mean, look, 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 remember when the Catholic Church was cutting Freemasons' heads off? What oh, was yeah. that about? Yeah, that was that was not a good. So time. were the Nazis. Nazis were doing Freemasons' heads. No, they were, no, they were yeah, killing yeah, them. Yeah. You know, the Jews, Freemasons, yeah. Zionists. Oh, well, not too much Zionists, just the Jews. What do you think of that? Your people are getting their heads cut off by the papacy. I told, who, you, side I, told, would you be I told you not to trust who, the church. Who, the <laughs> so whose side would you be on? The correct side. Back then, the Catholic Church was not corrupt. They were cutting uh, your they, heads they off. They said, corrupt. you want to do a fucking ritual here, mocking here, Jesus? Here, Cut your head off. Here's why, they, here's why they did that is because the Knights Templar and everything, they were essentially the first Western Union that ever existed. They ended up having... The uh, homosexuals. <laughs> right. Yeah. The they ended up having it's a long journey, guys. I'm guessing, but yeah, yeah. okay. To the butthole. Do, do we really need to put? Do we really need to put that picture up of two men on a horse, which is their symbol? Come on, man. Knights Templar were very gay, very quick. They they were cool yeah. for like a couple of years. And and, 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 th- and thank you for the popes and the kings for fucking wiping their ass out on October 13, 1307, was it? 1307? He's not going to uh, thank them. They're, they're, He's yeah, going to defend them. Man, fuck well, them. Because they, they, they actually moved the Vatican from where it's at in Italy to, to France for that time period. So that, 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 that pope, he was absolutely corrupt. And they, they wanted to get the money back. They, they destroyed them because they had more money than the church. So what do you do to get it back? You wipe them out. You don't think it's because... That Pope was an actual God fearing Christian. No, because he had. Uh, they were. They you know, got so he, big. He, 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 he. There's a reason he went to to France. He he was he was in bed with uh, political leaders at the time. They they basically the Knights Templars became competition. They had so much money and so much power that they were eliminated. And again, they were fucking homosexuals. I'm not saying the Freemasons were, but your ancestors, the people who helped founded the Freemasons, they were homosexuals. It seems like everybody was gay back in the day. It's really uh, annoying. Not my people. Not my people. <laughs> I don't know. We don't, we don't allow that trash in GG33. Is there anything you want to say to Jesus? Thank you. 
<laughs> what about you, Zerka? What do you want to tell Jesus? I want you to say that in your lodge. Or you're not allowed to. What? Say you're thank you, Jesus? Say, yeah. I'll say it. That you're allowed? No, I'll say it for you. I'll break will, the rules will, for will you. Will you videotape wow, it? I will. I will. Okay, he's going to videotape next, next meeting, I'll send you a video. We should do a series where I just box Freemasons. We just glove up, do a bunch of cocaine, and I just fight these guys. Yeah, well, how about Jesus' you, name! How about you just fucking kick in the door during the lodge meeting and fucking start going to work? I thought he's your boy. Am I allowed to just... You could talk anything you want. I can just fucking want. break into your lodge and start filming? Bro, I'll let you in. I have, what is this? I have a key. You, he, he's doing everything to make <laughs> he, me look like I'm a part he, of him. He's like, I'll let you in, Zerka. You're one of us. Runs the lodge. <laughs> okay, guys. That cut here is the end of our debate. And uh, I won't shake your hand, but I know what you're going to do. He's going to start doing his fucking... <laughs> he's going to be like, Zerka's actually 39th I, I, degree. I just couldn't reach the last time. That's when will you become a 33rd degree? No, when do you think no they're going to call your name? Is it Pro when I make you guys famous? Never. Probably never. When I bring everyone's star power here to the top, you're going to be activated. They're so you're going to be... His the job is going to be the corrupt circle. You're going to be the reason he's a 33rd degree yeah. Freemason. Yeah, because okay, he's going to... I will have the he's most star credit. power. They're going to activate you when they see how much clout you have. I'm about to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now check this out. If you want more of these debates, spam greatest stream ever. More positivity in chat. And now we're gonna we're gonna just read questions from the chat. Only good questions for our boy. Man, these faggots got no good questions. <laughs> I'm not Mr. Satan. Uh, all right, let's read them out loud. Okay, David, pick the best questions. It's like fucking. It's like <laughs> yeah. uh, pick no, the smartest no, retard. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, they're just finding greatest streams, so so they're gonna load it right now. Now's the question. Uh, I'm a slow reader. Just hold it. I would get on Discord and let them ask you questions, but I grilled you harder than they will. So it's going to be boring what they ask. I went way hard on you. That was the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And I. Here it is. Here are the questions. David, read them out loud. I don't have a microphone. Okay. Uh... Talk about what? Go down. Go oh, down. Oh, yeah, Talk yeah, about yeah, astronomy. Yeah. Talk about astronomy. Talk about See, astronomy. Yeah. Well, so that's one of the seven liberal arts and sciences of masonry, and astronomy is essentially the science of how the planets move and the relations with uh, how they interact. And not to be confused with astrology, which is like hooked on phonics version of astronomy. Like they broke it down, they gave us picture books. Uh, so astronomy is the actual science and and seeing what the planets are actually doing like you had all the numbers and the math and then astrology is kind of the the kindergarten version where you can you western can look astrology at, yeah yeah let's, yeah let's 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 make sure we correct folks here yeah uh here here at the end of the day man um gg33 knows more than all the fucking freemasons and you don't have to fucking do any fucking rituals but you do have to pass a interview you gotta pass an interview yeah, and, uh, and you, you gotta, can't be broke. Yeah, it can't be a brokey, man. So we, we have more rules than Freemasons, don't we? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. The knowledge is more valuable, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, listen, uh, Freemasons are welcome in GG33. Um, yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. You got Muslims, Christians, uh, Buddhists. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you want to learn numerology and astrology, you're welcome in the group. At the end of the day, um, how do you think you did in this debate? For going to bed at like 6.30 in the morning. And you're already here. making excuses, so you know uh, you took an L. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're already taking excuses. I think I did all right for the last minute. <laughs> thank God, thank God. No, you knew this was coming for a while. Not today. Not today. What not, am I supposed to not, do? It's when you're back in Cleveland? Not after Ronnie J's release party. Mm. Did you have fun at least? Yeah, it was fun. Is it, is it uh, can Freemasons be like drink alcohol? Yeah. Can they smoke weed? Pro yeah. Probably? Yeah. Yeah, they can. Uh, can they have multiple wives? Uh, it depends which God you believe in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, this has been a GG33 production on John Zerka's Kickstream. Hey, thanks. Mwah. Thanks for setting this up, Garrett. Of course, brother. For real. Hey, Chuck.
Remember, Gary just surprised me out of the blue. He's like, if you know your shit, get out of bed. You're debating this dude today. I thought he was joking, but he... W Gary is this guy who... He reads... Wait, let the chat roll so we can see him. Just go to the bottom with that. Yeah, Gary is a type of dude who... He wants me to remain so authentic that as soon as he saw I did not do this type of content for a while and people are complaining about it, he's like, I'll give Zerka's chat what they want. Instead of a Freemason stream, let's have him debate a real 32nd degree Scottish Rite Mason. And so I didn't set this up. Gary did it. And he just wants me to be authentic Zerka. Even throughout the boxing stuff, he wants me to do the same style of content. He, it's not like it interests Gary. He's not into this stuff. He just wants me to never turn into an influencer faggot. You, you said a I, 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 light, I, I, lightweight faggot. I, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> deal with fucking lightweight faggots at all. So, Even if you're a little bit of a fucking faggot. I want nothing to do with you, okay? I might be a Jewish handler, but I got morals. And, and the number one thing is, make fucking money. And, and remember, guys, I would never work with someone who's pro-homosexuality and all that. Right? That's why I'm around Gary. But if you look at it, you're the only dude in the game. Everyone else will kiss dudes for millions of views and dollars. You know what? You know He's what? the only straight fucking well, handler well, in the well, game. We don't need this shit. So what we're going to do in the next uh, three, four months is we're going to prove that we don't need a fucking platform, these fucking homosexuals, to actually do what we need to do. Any last words for you, my friend? Are you going to get kicked out of the Masons for this? Doubtful. Doubtful. Hey. But I'm, I'm not suicidal. Not suicidal. <laughs> oh, Gary, talk about how the fuck did you tell Sony Faz you predicted my let's, boss? Let's, let's, let's do that in a different stream, man. That is scary. Let, let's do this on a different stream. Evil. Let's do it. Hey, hey, you say this shit's evil, it's working out for us. This has been a GG33 production. <laughs> Woo-hoo!